Nikki and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves that have me on this journey to unconditional love. And so I just wanted to give me an update on what I've been seeing in healings um, today. So the themes have been about, um, this, so firstly it was that I did a healing for me and my twin and what I saw was that he was clinging onto the rocks like this, uh, like Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible and um, he was cleaning on just by his fingertips and then um, he had to and he just said I'm just frightened of letting go and I had to say to basically heal him to let him know that it's okay he can let go and when he let go he let go and landed on a trampoline and then I was there with him on the trampoline and so the, and he said to me his twin spirit said to me um the, when it showed me mission impossible then he said think about it and i was like oh it's tom cruise and he was like yeah what's the initials for tom cruise and i was like it's tc and he's like what's tc and i was like oh my god i know why <laughs> it's top cat now top cat is an old um like basically top cat is an old cartoon about a cat and so it fits in completely into the message this morning and yesterday around the cats. And the cats are a sign of healing, but also resurrection. And also the cat has nine, nine lives and always comes back. And so the other reason why it's really symbolic is the film is, of course, Mission Impossible. But you have to know that the mission is never impossible because it is all about knowing that you have the power to do this because you are the twin flame and with twin flame energy anything is possible now i'm just looking i just searched for this this clip because this is exactly what i saw now the other amazing thing about this is when i last met my twin he actually told me that he started rock climbing <laughs> and not only that but he made a point of saying that he is doing bouldering now i had no idea what that was and he was like because uh, I was like, oh, you're just climbing boulders. And he laughed and he was like, no, it's when you climb without any ropes. And I was like, oh, right, okay. So, again, exactly why this, the fact that this has come up in the healing today was so perfect because it's exactly what, basically, he was telling me he was doing this. And now in the healing, it was him just clinging on to his old life, right, for the last bits that his finger... Basically, his fingers couldn't hold him anymore and he had to fall back. <clears throat> so, the other thing around that is I also see lots of, in people's healings, you're on zip wires together, right? And you're going, and this is all about balancing your energies, right? Because when you're unbalanced together, then you can stay on the zip wire together. So, the fact that this is also here is just perfect. <clears throat> so, the other themes that were coming through in people's healings was about um, very much water-based themes again, that they were going down in it, um, basically both of them in boats, one was in a kayak, one was in a swan, big swan pedalo boat, and they were going over to rocky waters, and it was about um, the divine partners having fear that, you know, that the same things were gonna come up, right? But actually what they wanted to do is they just wanted to close the door on the past and move forward into the future because in each of the healings they said um i don't want to live this life anymore i want i know that a life without love is a life not worth living basically so that was definitely the theme that every single one was like i know i need to basically saying i know i need to do this right I know I need to do it, but I'm just clinging on for that little bit, you know, that little bit more. Another person's healing, the theme around the Olympics came back and winning the race, right? So the song that came through is We Are The Champions. The other songs that come through today in people's healings have been We Are The Champions, Leave The Light On For Me, Bed Of Roses, um, and Eye Of The Tiger. Now, when I search for the Eye of the Tiger, the album that that is from is from an album called Survivor. And in, this, in the album, first of all, this, the album was 69, so Divine Mirror, and 9, which is all about the endings of things, right? The ending of this old life. What they're clinging on to, they can no longer cling on to this old life because it's not fulfilling them. It's not fulfilling their hearts because they're ready to take that plunge they're ready to you know basically they're ready to let go because that was the other thing in every single one of the healings it was about 
they were saying I have to you know the reason why they they um, find you so alluring as their twin flame is because they can't understand it they can't control it right and so they've controlled everything in their life for so much think about how much control you have to be as a rock climber here right you have to be so controlled and so um, centered and so focused and what happens is when you, they meet you, that throws everything out the window. They can't understand it because in so many areas of their life, they've been very controlled, very um, reserved, very kind of uh, emotionally bound. And then when they meet you, basically all of that goes out the window. And because of that, it shakes them to the core, right? Because it changes everything. And so that takes a long time to get used to, to change that and to have that filter through to you. And to then get to the point that you're okay to let go of the wall, basically. Which again, now I'm thinking about this, is that the, the basically in the healing that I did for me and my twin, he was basically saying, I'm frightened to get let, let go of the walls that I've put up around me, but I know that I have to. I know that I have to let go. And so that the healing that we did was all about saying, it's okay to let go, because when you let go, you're going to be, you're basically saved. And so... That was that, you know, and that's why the healings are so powerful and these analogies are so, you know, to show me this. Because <laughs> I was thinking, why are you showing me Tom Cruise? And then he was like, think again. And I was like, oh yeah, Top Cat, TC. And he was like, yes, exactly. So Top Cat links back exactly to the messages from this morning around the maple tree. And then back to um, the girls healing, which was all about the three cats which I saw them, cat from outer space, cat from um, Bob, street cat called Bob, and then the other, I can't remember, oh, the surfing cat. So that's the other thing, because all of those things were just things that you thought, that's not possible to do that, right? But actually, it is possible, which is why this is even more so perfect. Because, oh wow, I've just received a, a note from somebody who I like, did healing this morning. She's like, mind blown. <laughs> I just saw that as the heading. So just know this. I mean, it really is quite amazing how strongly your twin soul can communicate. In one this morning, it was just like having a conversation. It was like literally, he was so eager to get his point across that he had felt this so in control for all of his life. And she just turned that completely on its head and shook him to the core. And But he's dealing with it, right? The other thing is I've just noticed that this rock is called Dead Horse Point in Utah. <laughs> so, you know, all the horse messages, right? You will win the race. There is no doubt in my mind that if you're on this journey and you're a twin flame, then you are here to basically let go of the rock, right? Let go of anything that's blocking you from stepping into your divine path and your divine union. And if you would like some help with that, then please do come to me. I'm doing a £20 special. I want to help as many people as possible. And so um, if you um, if you buy two, you get three. If you buy three, you get, you get four and so on. And so you, till if you buy eight, you get ten. And it's all about knowing that, you know, you can move more and more into your heart because you get messages from your souls. And that will help you to move into your heart space more and more and more. Now, somebody I did a healing for yesterday, she sent me this. After the healing, she found this, which is so perfect because it is the panda for unconditional love. It also has the red balloon, which has been loads. We've had the song 99 Red Balloons. And it says, Panda Life, I have found the good stuff a dreamy prevision of what my life will be right now look at this there's actually three pandas here which is so amazing i've just noticed that so the third energy is going to be supporting you on your journey make no mistake about it you are destined for a panda life of happiness and dreams all right i hope that helps oh look the song that's just come on the radio is shine like bright like a diamond by rihanna there you go. So keep shining bright like a diamond because your life is really magical. All right, take care. Bye.